हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज योगिता एंड यू आर वाचिंग इंग्लिश फिनिशिंग स्कूल फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर मूविंग अहेड इन द जर्नी ऑफ नॉन फाइनाइट्स वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट इन्फिनेटिव्स एज अ नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब वी हैव आल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट जेरेंड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब्स एंड द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो इज प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल There are three participles mainly present participle past participle and perfect participles and when we do the forms of verb also we say base form is the first form that is run and then we have second form which is often called the past form that is ran and then we have third form we always call it past participle right so the third form is past participle and then we have present participle also when we add an ing to it it becomes the example of a present participle so in this lecture we are going to discuss in detail about the present participle we are also going to discuss about what is the difference between a gerund and the present participle so let's start <laughs> present participle as i have discussed it is a part of non finite verb it is a type of a non finite verb non finite verb now what is a non finite verb we all know it is always present in a sentence with the finite verb non finite verb is the verb which cannot independently exist in a sentence for a non finite verb to be present in a sentence it is very important to have a main verb which is the finite verb in a sentence and present participle that is a non finite verb always exists with the main verb and how it is different from a gerund because we discussed the structure of gerund as v1 plus ing but remember i also told you while discussing the video of gerunds that gerund is often used in a sentence as a noun but present participle is always used in a sentence as a verb that is the basic difference between a gerund and present participle now we need to understand how present participle is used in a sentence as verb so let us proceed with some examples and understand it more clearly the first thing we have to understand we have three tenses in continuous form we have many tenses otherwise but in continuous form we will talk about we have present continuous tense we have past continuous tense and then we have future continuous tense so whenever we use this continuous form and we use an ing verb we have that as present participle he is writing a letter so here is finite verb and writing is non finite verb which is an example of present participle the sentence can be in the past also he was writing a letter so that in that case also it would be an example of a present participle only though it is past but writing verb in itself v1 plus ing the continuous verb in all the three tenses whether it is future or it is past continuous will be called present participle verb only then is my mother is cooking here is finite verb that is the main verb cooking is the example of present participle you just need to remember cooking because it will not change if we change the subject if i say her mother cooking will remain same if i'll say they is will change are but cooking will not change writing will not change so ing verb is not going to change in continuous structure whether we change it into past or change into future so it will be called as an example of present participle in the sentences so like next role of present participle similarly is of an adjective in a sentence now before we understand its role as an adjective we need to understand what is an adjective an adjective is often A addition or you can say it adds more to a noun or a pronoun it tells the quality of a noun or a pronoun so when we find 
A present participle being used to tell the quality of a noun in a sentence, we say it is used as a present participle and again it comes before a noun to talk about that. So let us look at how it is used as an adjective. It takes the shape of an adjective because present participle we all know v1 plus ing when v1 ing will act as an adjective say the singing bird was very nice. So here v1 plus ing is used with the noun that is bird. So bird is a noun the singing bird okay, then that means the bird the quality of the bird that it is singing was very nice. So we are using an ing that is present participle verb with the word noun and it is acting as an adjective in this sentence. Look at another example my mother gifted my mother gifted me a talking toy. So here talking talking is just used with the noun toy. So I can say talking here is acting the role and playing the role of an adjective because it is telling the quality of the toy that it is talking and then you can have various expressions like dancing doll, smiling girl, crying baby all these are adding quality to the nouns right. So they will often be called as adjectives. So this is how present participle acts and plays the role of an adjective in a sentence. Next role of, of, of the present participle that is an ing verb will be as an adverb. When two verbs parallelly exist one is finite and one is non-finite of course present participle so it will be called as an adverb. He left laughing so here left is my finite verb and laughing which is v1 plus ing is the example of a present participle and acts as an adverb because it adds to the verb. How it is answering the question how, how did she leave? She left laughing right and then we have another example she walked into the room smiling. So how did she walk into the room? Smiling again is a verb which is an example of present participle and playing the role in this sentence as an adverb. So I hope you are very clear now about the role of present participle as a continuous verb in all the continuous tenses that is present, past and future continuous and then as an adjective like the, the words attached with the nouns like singing bird, then talking toy, dancing doll, crying baby, smiling girl, no that you can say dancing Robert all these you know we we'll, can call it as an adjective. Then we have an adverb, she left smiling, she kept, she came laughing, she entered into the room laughing, she walked out of the room laughing, smiling, crying, all these verbs, when they are used with, along with the verbs, they always function as an adverb in the sentences. So present participle that is v1 plus ing, we have understood very clearly and if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe our channel and press the little bell icon next to it so that you can get all the updates about a future video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.